Hello, I'm George Debell. This is Maureen Alley. Welcome to Polite Inquiries. First question, Axe 281. What sort of approach do you think Cook and Moores are going to take to reverse the remedy of, let me finish this, England's abject display of last year? Um, I think they're going to bring a bit of freshness, a bit of um, pride into playing for England and try and teach that into the players a bit more. Surely that was always there though, wasn't it? There was always pride playing for England? No, there's obviously pride, but I think they really want to emphasise you know, this on the, on the players and um, sort of really make sure this is number one and playing for England is a bigger deal than maybe what people think out there and the players think. And um, a bit more fun? And fun, yeah. I mean, it's been really good so far. Um, it's really relaxed. The guys are having good laugh and joke. Um, and when the training comes, we're training hard. Moen, what's the nicest compliment you've had about your beard? What does Moen use to keep his beard in good condition, really? Does he think people are too obsessed with his beard? Judging by Twitter, they are. I wouldn't say too obsessed. I think they are more amazed a little bit. Um, it's magnificent. Yeah, I think they, they enjoy looking at it. And I, I think a lot of people want to touch it. Someone asked me to stroke it, and I said, it's just not that yeah. show. I think when, when they stroke it, it's sort of... Who strokes it? Players, you know, guys really? out there, yeah. They want to have a little stroke at times, and it feels like wiry for them, and they kind of enjoy it. And you I'll, try to seduce me into stroking no, I'm not, it, because I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm just, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just, just being honest with you. You kind of wear it on purpose as a bit of a symbol. Yeah, definitely. It's more of a, a label for me to, to show that I'm a, I'm a Muslim. Um, and for other people to know, you know, that um, people can be, can have a faith, be strong in their faith and still play sports. And I, I enjoy keeping it and um, I think I'm really used to it now. So um, I don't think I could ever shave it off. Question here from Sarah Alfeeder or whatever. Does Moen walk? If so, why? Um, I do, yeah. Um, but speaking to my coach last year, uh, Steve Rhodes, his, his theory is you can never win if you walk. Do you walk at that sort of expression of faith in a way? Yeah, I mean, I don't see it as cheating because I think the umpires are there to, to give um, the decision. I just see it as me being honest. Um, if I nick it, I, I, a lot of the time it's just sort of instinct now. Presumably the umpires though, they get to know, particularly in counter cricket, yeah. they get to know who walks and who doesn't. There are other people who do as well. Yeah. You would like to think that they would begin to know when you're going to walk. I think so. I think the word gets around and uh, uh, there's a lot of players that actually do walk and the umpires know um, if they stand, a lot of the time they're actually not out. So um, it does, the umpires do see and they do know it. Um, Have you told the international umpires yet? Not yet. Hassan Chima asks, Moen, how is it to learn from Saeed Ashwal and share the bowling tips with, with him? Um, that's one of my um, best moments when he's here. Um, I, I love well, we should explain that Saeed plays for Worcestershire alongside Moen and he's, he's shown you how he bowls the Dusra, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, and the best thing is he says he hasn't shown many people. Do you not feel you ought to show Gareth Batty? He's been looking for it for years. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to show people. I, I've tried to show people, but it's not... He, he explained to me, it's not the showing, it's not the um, hard bit, it's actually the work and the grip and the change in almost your whole action um, that you have to do is, is putting the hard yards in. That's the hardest bit, I think. James Peters asks, do you see yourself as an all-rounder or a batsman and part-time spinner? Um, I, th I think now I see myself more as an all-rounder. I think, uh, you know, getting picked for England, I got picked with my batting, but I think I got picked over other guys who have probably done more than me in the last couple of years. All right, so you opened the bowling. I've opened for, the bowling, yeah. For England. You never England. thought that would happen, No, surely. exactly, yeah. A lot of the fast bowlers I see around, I just tell them I'm, I'm the open bowler for England at the moment. <laughs> so. I, I get in for my bowling as well as my batting, so I see myself as an all-rounder. Um, and. The more the, the more years go on, I think I'm getting better with my bowling, so I sort of kind of know what I'm doing now. I just need to add a few more things and hopefully I'll be there. Peter Miller asks, is Moen Ali the best spin bowler in county cricket? Um, I don't think so. Um, I mean, Monty's still there, so he's he's got a good record behind him internationally. Um, and there's good spinners, like obviously Treadwell's there. Um, How about the best off spinner? I probably wouldn't, say, I don't like to say myself no, as the best off spinner, but modest fellow. I, w I would say I've probably bowled a lot more than most off spinners in county cricket uh, over the last two, three years. So. I think people don't realise how yeah. difficult it is to get any spin at New Road as yeah, well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't help there. Yeah, um, 
and you sort of learn a lot. And I bowl in all forms, which is nice. So you, you learn a few tricks and stuff like that. So I wouldn't say I'm the best, but I, th I would say I'm probably one of the more experienced as a right arm off spinner. Robert Drummond asks, actually there are quite a few on this. Robert Drummond, Andy Camella asks, why can't every spinner bowl a doosra? Um, I mean, of course it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. I think it's just the way we've been brought up. Um, is it partly about chucking, though? Not, not the way you do it on the side, yeah, does it? But um, lots of people could do it yeah, if they could yeah, change the direction enough to. I think as, a, as you get older, you sort of, I think you've got to be really flexible in certain areas of your body, like your, your hip flexor, your shoulder, um, to bowl it. And I think if you're young and you can, and you obviously you're going to be more flexible than guys who are a bit older, then, and you practice it, you will be able to do it. I just think we don't get taught to do it. Morris Holmes is sitting at home watching this, bagging his table, yeah. going, yes. Mohamed Issam, hello Issam, uh, says, would you go back to playing in the BPL, the Bangladesh Premier League? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I went, I've obviously been before and I enjoyed my time. I just, the traffic was too much for me at that time. We should explain that you've, you've got family in Bangladesh. Uh, yeah, I've well, got, yeah. Um, you know, in-laws in, in Bangladesh and stuff. So Did you get paid? I got paid, yes. But I've obviously heard people that didn't get paid and stuff. My team was actually really good. Um, there was a... There was a period at, when we were there when we nearly boycotted a game or you know we, need, we nearly never played because there was some payment issues and stuff but we had people like um, Simon Cattage sort of all that kind of stuff out and stuff so um, I probably would but I'm not sure. Plymouth Nick asks is there enough done to encourage cricketers from Asian communities in the UK? Um, I think it's getting better I mean mm. I think being an Asian cricketer myself and people watching me play for England and Worcester and stuff um, I think inspires people Asian players to want to play. Have you got a role to play here? I think so. And uh, You're okay with that? I mean, yeah I don't mind that at all I mean. You're quite a young fellow you've got family and all yeah. the rest of it that, that's quite a burden. Yeah no it's not I don't see it as a burden I see it more as a positive sort of um, attitude sort of thing you know I, I feel it's my duty to do it, um, representing obviously Asians um, in England and stuff. So I just wish um, Asians could be a bit more, you know, just open about going to clubs or going to, you know, non-Asian clubs and trying to trying to make something of themselves in cricket. Several questions on this. Some about the difficulty of going from Warwickshire to Worcestershire, whether that was difficult. And this one from James Connell. What was it exactly that convinced you to sign a five-year contract at Worcestershire? I was doing everything I want at Worcester. I mean, I was, I'm was i the only spinner, apart from obviously Saeed Ajmal coming. Um, I sort of bat where I want in the one-day stuff, bat where I want in the four-day stuff, field and slip. Um, everyone knows me quite well. And a lot of people say, you know, sometimes you've got to get out of your comfort zone and stuff, but I sort of see it the other way. I see it more as, if I'm, if I'm comfortable, I can perform. And if I'm happy, um, you know, the people have always, since day one, have been brilliant with me. I find, um, actually love the club, genuinely love the club. And I feel, reason. Yeah, and I felt like I just, I had to stay. And I just felt like I can perform because I'm happy. And Did you I, even look at the, the money? Did you even look at the really, money? Not really. No, um, I mean, what's the offered me a good deal and I felt it but was... You know how it is once you go out on the market. Yeah. There's always people who will pay more. Maybe, yeah. And, I didn't really get into that, to be honest with you. I just felt I'm living at home um, in Birmingham and I can go to Worcester, whereas if I have to go somewhere else, I'll have to you know, find another place and all that kind of stuff. So the money, money side. So you were lazy? So <laughs> maybe a little bit. The team princess, what's the most outrageous rumor Moen has heard about himself, cricket or not? Moen Ali played for Birmingham City as a young player. Don't say that's not true. Football. No, that is not true. Don't say that, let's say it is true. Let's <laughs> do it again. What people don't know is that you played for Birmingham City as a young player. They can edit that. Will James Anderson make it to the next Ashes? And if he won't, should the England selectors pick someone else? You probably can't get involved in it. It's only a year away, the next yeah. Ashes. He's, he's not that old. He's 10 years younger than me. Yeah. Don't say that. Captain Yates. If the ICC suspends Yusaka, will this have implications for other boards with financial administrative issues? Not really, because the reason they'll be suspended or should be suspended according to the ICC's own rules is because there are two governing bodies in America, and that's the key thing with this. If you look through the ICC regulations, pretty cut and dried. Brian Clifford asks, what's Moen's favourite Chantry fact? I like um, 
The one where he entered a lookalike competition for Jack Shantry and came third. Okay. That is a good one. I like the Shantry facts that he was brought up by wolves and one of them taught him to bowl. <laughs> Small Mammal asks, how do you feel about polite inquiries beating Ask Moors for sane, publishable questions? You haven't seen the ones I didn't read out. Thank you, Moen. Thanks for the questions. Really appreciate it. See you next time. We're hoping Lalit Modi's the guest.